I might chip outs, man. I got this yet. My name is Mackenzie Graves, 5'11", 242 pounds, starting offensive and defensive line for the Pemberton Grizzlies. My name is Jeremy Lexamana, I'm 5'7", I weigh 165 pounds, and I'm the striding center and middle linebacker of the Peverton Grizzlies. My name is Mackenzie Graves, number 55 for the Permanent Grizzlies, where I served as captain for all three seasons I played. I'm going to Simon Fraser University in the fall of 2015 to study psychology. Uh, my name is Jeremy Laxamana. My number is 52 of the Permanent Grizzlies. I'm going to Douglas College to take criminology in the fall. Started playing football in September 2011. I've played three seasons, and I've been starting offensive and defensive line all three seasons. I uh, started playing football in the fall of 2011. I was a backup player, but soon moved up into a starting position soon after it. Football's had a huge influence on my life. It took up a lot of my time. It, um, it taught me a lot of things that I wouldn't have learned otherwise, a lot of things about life that I wouldn't have learned. It taught me resilience. When I started playing football, it was new to me. I had never watched football before. I'd never seen this sport been played. I was, I always played hockey. Hockey was my sport. I'm a Canadian boy. I'm not an American boy. So this is, it was all new to me. It was new to the town as the team was just being created. And it was, it really tested my ability to adapt to stressful situations. It tested my, because in football you have to do what needs to be done no matter what the situation. If there's something in your way, you have to get around it. You don't get a choice. You don't get to just avoid it and come back to it later. You have to do the job when it needs to be done. Um, also, football's taught me a lot of resilience with regards to injuries. I've tore my MCL in one knee. 
I've partially torn my patellar tendon and done meniscus damage in another knee, partially torn my hamstring, uh, popped my pelvis out. Like All this dedication to this one sport has taught me so much dedication and the what you must go through to be good at something with all the, not just what you do on the field, but what you do off the field. In your community, in the gym, on your spare time, you don't do you don't go to parties, you don't drink, you go to the gym, you come home, you have your protein shake, you go to bed, you sleep, you wake up, you do it all again. Every day after school, I would like sit on the couch, glued to the TV, playing video games, and if not that, it would be building Lego. There's nothing wrong with building Lego, it's just that's all I ever did. That was my lifestyle, and football changed that. It changed my lifestyle, um, and it taught me about commitment. And you see, because one thing that football did for me is it taught me that not everything is given to you. And coming from my background, I've always had stuff given to me. So this was a big change. Later on, it taught me about dedication. If I wanted something, I had to go get it. And I didn't, like I said, it wasn't given to me. I had to earn my spot on the team. And that's what I did. And for the first time ever, I, uh, I became like committed to something that I wasn't familiar with. So that meant no playing video games, no going to parties. It was dead on. It always, it would always be about football. Like ever since then, all my choices in life, they would be like influenced on football. It would be about football. Like whether to uh, go to the gym or go hang out at a party, I would always choose a gym because if I go to the party, it would set me back. And that's one thing I also learned from football was perseverance. Despite all the setbacks, I wanted, I wanted my goal. As a part of the football team, we did a lot of community activities. We did a lot of volunteering. We did a lot of um, community service. And through that, I found that it's um, volunteering is a positive thing and you don't just need to receive something as a reward, you can do something just to help other people and the fact that you helped other people is reward enough. With a team, we would sell uh, Krispy Kreme donuts and Power Air door to door to help fundraise for our team and that kind of influenced me, that made me want to uh, help out with the community more often. For instance, I um, I put away gymnastic equipment at the community center, community center every Thursday. It, we did a lot of volunteering activities and from that I extended that on into help me with volunteer experience, like volunteer hours for grad transitions and also it helped me volunteer more in the future. It, I volunteered through the elementary school, I ran a program there where I tutored a class and then played floor hockey with them at lunch and if I hadn't played football then I most likely never would have done that. Um, also football has just being a part of the community and being a part of a group that is part of the community is such a positive thing it's such a great thing to be a part of because not only are you helping the community but the group that you are in the group that you represent is a part of the community as well and is a positive influence. Football has absolutely influenced me to live a healthier life. Yes, absolutely yes. It, football influenced me to live a healthier lifestyle. Got me in the gym. That's where I first worked out was with the football team through football. It got me started on CrossFit. Which is an in intense workout really intense workouts. It's just totally opened the world of fitness and healthy lifestyle to me. It's taught me proper diet. Through football I met um, our strength and conditioning coach who's not here anymore but Coach Keith and he, I worked with him, I worked out with him a lot. I got my my weightlifting program, was inspired by him. My All the food I eat, everything I eat is inspired by him and like what he taught me so and he taught us some workout programs which is really good as well as the uh, coaches from CrossFit 
And with that, I learned, I, I absorbed all the information from them, used that, and now, whenever I go to the gym. And now, I eat healthy food, and not as much unhealthy food. Yeah, I went from sitting around at home, maybe playing football a few days a week, to you know, playing football five days a week, working out six days a week, and going to the gym nearly every day. And I think it, it shows. But football has just been an unbelievable boost for my health and for my healthy lifestyle, for sure. Football made me realize that there's a lot of possibilities out there right after I finished high school. Um, there's this camp we went to, me and Mackenzie, we went to a UB, UBC camp and we learned the how to be a better football player and really that made us even better than we were before. Um, and with those skills we would be able to apply them and try out for other teams. Um, went to a camp last summer at UBC and their coach was interested in me so I could play there. I applied there for university this year and I got accepted. However, I'm going to go to Simon Fraser instead. But um, there's just so many things, like so many doors it opens for you, not just football but sports in general, but football especially being as big as it is. Um, also, there's a junior team uh, called the Valley Huskers based out of Chilliwack. And um, I went to a camp there with Jeremy on the May Long weekend, and they want both of us to play for them as well. And they've, they've, coaches have contacted me saying they can pay for my registration fees, they can pay for my gear fees, which is as close as you can get to a scholarship with them. Um, so I'd like to play with them in the future. However, I don't know if it's going to work out with my school plans and everything, but football just opens up so many new doors in your future and it gives you such a huge, a number of such huge opportunities and other things you can do with your life that are outside of just the straight and narrow go to university, get, get an education, get a job. Like, you can go to university, you can play football, you can go anywhere after that there isn't much stopping you so yeah this video truly shows how big of a part like how huge of a part of our life football has been over the past few years and just how much of an influence it's had on both of us yeah and without it our lives would have been completely different football is not just a game it's a way of life and that is really true for us